Hello everyone. Today I will explain you about the concept of ecosystem, types of ecosystem. Or we can say that classification of ecosystem. Now broadly we can divide ecosystem into three different categories. First is the natural ecosystems. Second category artificial ecosystems and third category is incomplete ecosystem so first let us start the topic from natural ecosystems again natural ecosystems can be broadly divided into two parts one is first is aquatic ecosystems and second is the terrestrial ecosystems now you should know here that what are aquatic ecosystems? Those ecosystems which are present in any water body. So that ecosystem is known as aquatic ecosystem. And on the other hand, the ecosystems which are present on land surface, so those ecosystems are known as terrestrial ecosystem. Simple. Now, in this first I will explain you about the aquatic ecosystems. We can further divide or classify aquatic ecosystem into three different categories. First is freshwater aquatic ecosystems. Second category marine ecosystems. And third is estuarine ecosystems. So here first of all we should know what are freshwater ecosystems the water bodies which are having fresh water means water is fresh so that type of ecosystem is fresh water ecosystem it is it can be further divided into two categories fresh water ecosystem can be further classified into two categories first is lotic ecosystems and second is lentic ecosystems so this is the this is important point here you know you should know the difference between lotic and lentic ecosystems. Lotic ecosystems are those ecosystems in which water is flowing. For example, river. In river, water is continuously flowing. So that type of ecosystem is lotic. On the other hand, lentic ecosystem. Lentic ecosystem means where water is standing for example any lake or pond so that that is lentic ecosystem now second type of aquatic ecosystem is marine example is sea and ocean we know that in sea and ocean a variety of living organisms are there producers producers are there decomposers are there coral reefs are there so all these makes marine ecosystem the last type of ecosystem in aquatic ecosystem is the estuarine ecosystem now here we should know first what is estuary so estuary is the part or the mouth part of the river where mouth connects to the ocean it is a transition zone between ocean and the river so this part the ecosystem which is found in this region is known as estuarine ecosystem example we have is the sundarban delta so here we have different unique organisms unique type of plant species for example mangrove trees eel salmon such type of unique biodiversity is there and the ecosystem is known as estuarine ecosystem. So this is all about the aquatic ecosystem. Now the second part of this natural ecosystem is the terrestrial ecosystem. Terrestrial ecosystem I have already told you that the ecosystem which is present on the land surface. Now it can be further classified into five different categories. You should know it. So first we have on land forest ecosystems forest ecosystem means where the predominant 
the area is predominantly occupied by large trees that ecosystem is known as forest ecosystem it can be further classified based on the environmental conditions it can be further classified based on the environmental conditions it may be tropical forest ecosystem subtropical forest ecosystem or temperate type of forest ecosystem so later on in forest resources i will tell you about tropical subtropical and temperate type of ecosystem in detail second terrestrial ecosystem is grassland ecosystem second is grassland ecosystem grassland ecosystem means where the land mass is occupied by tall grasses and trees are very scattered and the growth of tree is shunted type so that is grassland ecosystem in forest ecosystem rainfall is moderate to high on the other hand in grassland ecosystem rainfall is moderate to low so this is the difference between grassland and forest ecosystem rainfall is very high and rainfall is moderate to low further we can classify grassland ecosystem into different categories or in different parts of world grassland ecosystems have different names for example savanna in africa grassland ecosystems are popularly known by the name savanna to so remember this in africa in united states and canada grassland ecosystems are known as prairies in south america grassland ecosystems are known as pampas whereas in asia and central europe grassland ecosystems are known as steppes so this is main point here you should remember this third category of terrestrial ecosystem is the desert ecosystem the so desert ecosystem means the ecosystem where generally dry conditions exist temperature is very high rainfall is less than rainfall is less than 25 cm per year here the plant species are of a special type root is very deep and the leaves of the plant is covered by waxy or thick cuticle to prevent evapotranspiration so in desert ecosystem you should know at least five characteristics of desert ecosystem so you can write here or remember the points first desert ecosystem the productivity of desert ecosystem is very low first point second rainfall is very low that is less than 25 cm per year day temperature is very high on the other hand nights are cold the roots of the plants here in desert ecosystem is very deep and leaves of the plants is covered by cuticle to prevent the loss of loss of water by evapotranspiration here the type of animals or the dominant animals which are found in desert ecosystem are burrow type for example rodents so the next type of terrestrial ecosystem is tundra so how can we understand the concept of tundra hai na so with the help of this diagram i will explain you the concept of tundra so this is the equator all of us know this is equator and the part near the equator is tropical this is the tropical region after this next part is subtropical now this part near the pole and the ecosystem found here on this part is the polar ecosystem but adjacent to the polar this region just next to polar ecosystem this here the ecosystem found that is tundra so in tundra ecosystem trees are scattered coniferous trees are there 
grasses are there here temperature is very cold biodiversity is very low or we can say that the productivity of ecosystem is very low in tundra ecosystem on the other hand the last category of terrestrial ecosystem is the polar ecosystem antarctica arctic so this is all about terrestrial ecosystems now the second category of ecosystem broadly i have told you earlier about the artificial ecosystem artificial ecosystems means the ecosystems which are partially or fully regulated by human beings remember this the ecosystems which are partially or fully regulated by human beings for example cropland the cropland is partially regulated by human beings human beings decide what to grow and when to grow but precipitation type of soil that is natural so that's why we call this partially regulated so this is the example of artificial ecosystem next third category of ecosystem here is the incomplete ecosystem so in nature in environment we have few examples of incomplete ecosystem now you should understand what is incomplete ecosystem the ecosystem in which all four basic component or there is the missing of any one of them basic component means abiotic conditions producers consumers and decomposers if out of these four these four component one or two is missing then that ecosystem is known as incomplete ecosystem so here we have two examples one is the abyssal zone in sea abyssal zone means in sea the deepest part darkest zone where producers are absent producers nahi hai yahan pe koi to aise ecosystem ko incomplete ecosystem bolenge next example is the caves in caves also producers are absent and some animals are residing in the caves so such type of ecosystems are artificial ecosystem so this is all about the types of ecosystems or the classification of ecosystems thank you everyone and have a nice day